In this video, you'll see how to use CloudWatch Contributor Insights to analyze high cardinality data. With this feature, you can analyze top contributors to time series data, quickly isolate, diagnose, and remediate issues during operational events, and perform ongoing analysis for system and business optimization. To get started, let's go to CloudWatch Contributor Insights. Contributor Insights allows you to set up real-time analysis of time series data to understand who or what is impacting system and application performance the most. For this demonstration, we are going to use Contributor Insights to analyze log data from a pet adoption application. Let's switch to API Gateway to take a quick look at our web API. This is the REST API that talks to our DynamoDB table. We also have set up a load simulator to simulate traffic flow. Let's take a quick look at the DynamoDB table. This table stores data indexed on two keys, pet type and pet ID. We have already enabled contributor insights on this table. As you can see, the top four rules were all automatically generated by DynamoDB. Before we take a look at these, let's create a new rule so we can see the parameters that define a rule in contributor insights. You can create custom rules from scratch or select and modify sample rules from a number of category sorted options. You can then build upon these sample rules for structured logging of different AWS service log sources. Any logs in JSON or common log format can be evaluated. Let's select VPC flow logs and create a rule that provides structured logging for byte transfers by source and destination IP address. The log group we select defines the source of our logs to be analyzed. We'll choose VPC flow logs so we can track all requests and responses to or from our API. We can also set the log format and modify or add the fields to be logged. We can also set the contribution fields, which are the primary indices of the logs data defined in the fields above. In addition, we have options for how logs are aggregated. In this case, we'll retain the default settings and create the rule. As traffic flows in, our graph is populated with the information we requested. Using Contributor Insights rules like this, we can easily analyze important metrics regarding real-time performance of our application without requiring manual data processing of high-dimensionality data or expensive storage and computation power. We also have two previously defined Contributor Insights rules. This rule shows the unique visitor requests rejected by our API. This rule shows requests that have been accepted. We can select both rules and view them in a single graph in CloudWatch Metrics. When selecting multiple rules, we must select an aggregation operation to apply to the display. Let's select Sum. We can also select or enter a math expression to create a composite graph of the two rules. We can even create a CloudWatch alarm based on the composite graph metrics. In this case, let's cancel out without creating the alarm. Let's return to Contributor Insights. Next, let's create a custom rule to gain insights into traffic patterns on our web API. This rule will extract the top pet types requested by our application's users. For log groups, let's specify our API gateway execution logs. For contributions, we'll specify the pet type field of our DynamoDB table. Since we want to find the most popular pet types by traffic, Let's aggregate on count to get the total number of occurrences of each pet type. Create the rule. Let's wait a few moments for the rule graphs to fully populate, and then select the rule. The three lines in the graph represent the number of requests for each pet type over time. As you can see, puppy was the most commonly requested pet type. We can hover over a legend entry or line on the graph to view the line in isolation. Let's take a look at how the graph can be customized. We can modify the number of contributors shown. We can show data over a longer or shorter period of time. We can order the chart by different aggregate metrics. We're currently showing a sum ordered representation of our data, but we can also order by maximum value. 
Next, let's return to the DynamoDB table that holds the pet data requested from our web API. Contributor insights can be enabled for a DynamoDB table in the More tab. Since Contributor Insights is already enabled, let's continue. When Contributor Insights is enabled for a DynamoDB table, four Contributor Insights rules are automatically generated by aggregating the table data according to the keys the user has specified. In our case, we specified pet type as the partition key and pet ID as the sort key. Let's inspect each line in the Most Accessed Items partition key rule. Now let's return to CloudWatch. The first four Contributor Insights rules correspond to the four charts we just saw in DynamoDB. Here are the most accessed items, aggregated on the partition key over a one-minute period. By enabling Contributor Insights on our DynamoDB table, we have produced the very same pet types rule we created earlier. Additionally, as we saw in DynamoDB, a rule is created for aggregates on the partition key plus the sort key allowing us to view the most requested pets in general along with their pet type. You've just seen how to use Contributor Insights to analyze high cardinality data. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.